You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Obina, I want to talk to you, only if it's okay. It's okay. Were you crying? No, no. I wasn't crying. Oh. Ify. I'm tired. I feel frustrated. I didn't do anything wrong today. I was only doing my job. How can I allow a stranger into the palace without asking questions? I'll be putting the palace at risk if I do that. I, I didn't know he, he shared a personal relationship. With the, with the princess. They both wanted to kill me. What was my offense? Because I opened the gate. Or I did not open the gate. I'm just tired. Obina, you did nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, you did the right thing. Obina, you need to know that you are a man. And in a man pursue for his destiny, there, there will definitely be obstacles on the way. But it is left for that man to remain focused in order to achieve his goal. You have to remain focused to achieve success, Obina. You're right. Of course I'm right. Obina, I believe in you. Yes. I believe that you will not end up in the gates for the rest of your life. I believe that you're you're only in this palace for for a short period of time, you know, to raise money for yourself to become a better person. I believe that you will make it in this life, but Ubina, you have to stay focused for all of these dreams of yours to to come to pass. Okay. Thank you, Ifi. You know, you are God sent. God sent you to me to guide me. I was thinking of quitting the job because I'm tired of the humiliation. They almost got me killed. The princess and her boyfriend. I was thinking of going back home to my mother because I'm tired of the way they treat me here. But now that you have spoken, I feel better and I promise to stay focused like you have said thank you very much you're welcome I really appreciate everything it's nothing please okay, can I give you a hug yes don't, don't say no yes why not Did you see that? What? It was like a flash. I don't know. Did you see it? Maybe it wants to rain. Uh, yeah, maybe. I have to go to my room now, okay? okay. Have a good night. You're welcome. Good night. <laughs> Igwe. Igwe. You should recognize them now. They were kissing each other. Touching each other. They do that every midnight.
Igwe, very serious. And you need to do something. Yes. Obina. 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 Eche. Eche. The king wants to see you. Huh? I said the king wants to see you. The king wants to see me. Yes. I hope all is well. I hope so too. I hope the princess hasn't reported me to the king. Called by the king is no ordinary. Hmm. It's obvious someone has committed a crime and is about to receive the king's hammer. Who knows who? We shall soon know. Let's go find out. It has come to my notice that some of you have turned, turned this sacred place, this venerated royal palace into a, a cesspit, turned it into a brother, turned my set, my, my, my palace into, into fragmented chalice. Yes. Do you know yes, sir. what? Do, do you mean the palace is now a hotel? Are you normal? Yes, sir. Are you a nitwit? Yes, sir. Now keep quiet. Yes, sir. Dead fool. Sir, but it's ho hotel, sir. Literate. It's hotel. This is a holy place you've turned into a brother. Can somebody tell this net wet to remain silent? Yes, sir. As I look at faces, I am looking at faces that are guilty. Faces brimming with guilt, filled with guilt. Turning my, 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 my sacred place into, into a place where base, useless, hopeless boys and girls, females and males indulge in in, 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 in sexual immorality. Are you having sex? Huh? Are you having sex? No. Are you having sex? Hey, shut up! Let me talk. So they said they are not having sex. I'm giving some five to ten seconds of grace. If you know you are guilty, if you know that you have done anything untoward in this my palace, 
something resembling what I have just described. You indicate. Indicate by raising your hand or by filing out here. Five, ten seconds. Ifunanya and Obina. I said it. You. Your Majesty. You, 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 no, no. Your Majesty. No. no. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I can swear. I can swear with even the Bible that ever since I started working in this palace, I have never had any reason to soil my womanhood. Never. Your Majesty. You, you, you know when I started working here? I started working here because I wanted to help my old mother in the village. Since I started working here, things have been very, very difficult. And it gets worse every day. Your you, you Majesty, I'm still a virgin. I've never had sex before. Quiet! Quiet! Your Majesty, I, I'm just trying to... I said quiet! You, all of you, go back to your duties. Go. Yes, sir. Yes. Shut up, stay here. Go. Yes. Sir, I'm a virgin. No, I've never had sex before. Igwe wouldn't have called us all up if he didn't hear or notice anything suspicious. Exactly what I'm saying, Adako. But why was Ifunaya and that stupid useless boy called out? I already know there's something going on between those two. Yes. If you see the way that Ifunaya used to react whenever it and it should have concerns Obina, hmm. it is obvious she likes the boy or the boy likes her. I am sure both of them are already seeing each other secretly. Yes. You're right. But something is not adding up. Yes. Something like what? I mean, the three of us share the same room. And we are almost always together. So? Yes, there is no way such a thing will be happening and we wouldn't notice. Look. I mean, I've never woken up a night and she's missing. So, so when were all those things happening? When? And I could forget what you're saying. A thief that want to thief will not go to where he or she is being caught. Yes. Okay. Even husband and wife that live together in the house, do you see them having sex? Mm -mm. But with after nine months, you just see pregnancy comes out from anywhere. Forget that boy's crocodile tears. He's just deceiving us. Even if I has acting, she cannot deceive me. I know all those things. But if nothing happened, why would the king summon us? Something must have made him to call all of us and address us in that manner. I can swear for you, Funaya. She's so decent and homely. To involve herself with such a shameful act, she can't. So, why did the king summon us? I don't know. Maybe someone has gone to tell lies about Ifunaya and that new boy. Yes. Who could that be? At least, I know two people in this palace that do not see eye to eye with that new boy. So, you never can tell. <laughs> and who could that be? You want to hear it from me? It will never happen. Let's go and finish what the queen asks us to do to avoid another yes. summons. God. What have I done? 
What have I done to myself? <sighs> Why didn't I think well before acting? God, forgive me. Jeff, the king sends for you. Huh? Huh? I said the eagle wants to see you now. Okay, I'm coming. Come with me now. Oh no, don't hear me. Are you aware of the punishment that awaits? Any false accusation against any member of this royal family. Igwe, I already reported what I saw. What did you see? Igwe, the picture. Apart from the picture. Maybe apart from the night you referred to. Have you ever seen them in any compromising position? Igwe, I have seen them talk together, stay together. In fact, Igwe. seen them do any other thing. <laughs> Igwe, a lot. But still, Igwe. Go back to your duty post. <laughs> Igwe. Somebody went to report to the king about me and that boy. What I don't understand is why so much hatred for this boy? What did he do to you people? And eh, what? If, Naya, if you know who you are addressing, you better call the person's name. Stop speaking in riddles. You're disturbing me. Ha! Well, if you're waiting for me to call anybody's name, you will wait for eternity. Because I will do no such thing. The person knows herself and the person is close. If, Naya, then stop making noise. As you don't want to call the name of the person, stop making noise. Let me have peace. Nkechi is right. It's only three of us in this particular room. It's obvious it's either you're suspecting Nkechi or you're suspecting me. But you're not bold enough to say it. And if you're not bold enough to say it, you better keep quiet because you're just making noise. I will not keep quiet. It is my mouth. I will speak whenever and however I want to. I will not keep quiet. As no one... <clears throat> if I am. The king wants to see you now. Mm -hmm. Come with me. Mm. You better go out there and defend yourself. Not to come here and be speaking riddles. You shall see me. No good to the king. Can you say with certainty that it is not true? Yes, Igwe. Yes. about this. Yes. Who is this? That, 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 is, is that is us, but... Hey! Hey, we... Hey, people are, people are wicked. People are very wicked. Your Highness, people are very... Waiting for you to talk. Sorry, sorry, Your Highness. On that very day, that boy, Obina, was badly humiliated. He was so humiliated, he was down. The princess had slapped him. Her boyfriend also kicked him. So he was crying. I only went there to encourage him and give him some words of advice. 
Because prior to my coming there, he had made up his mind to leave the palace. But after talking to him, he agreed to stay. That was what happened. To your highness. And the hog. Uh, the hog. The hog was after after I spoke to him kindly. Yes. He he requested for a hog, a honest, friendly hog, and I gave him. And we both noticed a flash. But we didn't know someone had taken a picture of us. But it was it was just a honest hog. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You knew there was nothing going on. Yet you lied against them. For reasons best known to you. I'm sorry, my king. I saw them hugging and I thought they were doing something deep. Please forgive me, my king. But you lied to me that you had seen them at various points and in compromising positions. Several places apart from the night of the picture. It was only that night, my king. But was that what you told me before? No, my lord. First, you keep him without food. Then you accuse him falsely. what you will do next. <laughs> I won't do another thing, my king. From today, I'll treat him nicely. In fact, I'll treat him like my blood brother. Please, forgive me. You're wicked. You're soulless. Go to your chamber. Pack your belongings. Leave this palace. You are fired this minute. Please, my king. I'm the breadwinner of my family. A lot of much fit from my salary. Please, my king, forgive me. I will do it again. poor boy that came to the palace to work and better his life. They all just hate him so much. They humiliate and embarrass him at every given point in time. Mama, I am sure that I am the only one that goes to him with kind words, else he would have left that palace a long time ago. Yeah. Um, how come you nearly lost your job? Hmm. Mama only went to encourage him with kind words after I saw what the princess and her fiancé did to him that day. They almost killed him all. Only went to encourage him and you know let him know that good things don't come his easily and that he should be patient. Yes. Eh? Hey. We finished having the conversation mm. and then he was very happy and relieved and asked me for a hug. Sure. A honest hug. A very honest hug that I gave. And the next thing, someone snapped us picture with camera phone. 
Huh? Yes. The king was so angry that he summoned all of us and told us that he, he had a report that some of us had been misbehaving in the palace at odd hours. Everybody here also. Telling you, Mama. But I thank God for the truth. I thank God that nobody can cover the truth. Uh -huh. When I was called upon, I said my truth and that was all. <laughs> I guess when the king heard me out and saw the, how the poor boy was weeping and devastated, Hell. he just let us go. Hell. Who could have done this? Who took the picture and reported it to the Igwe? I don't know. Hey! Ah. All I know is that everyone in that palace hates that boy so much. It could be anybody. How? Hmm. It is okay, my daughter. Huh? It is okay. Don't join them in hating that poor boy. That innocent poor boy. Always be a shoulder for him to lean on. It takes only one person to make the world a better place. Only them. Okay, Mama. Abel. I'll keep doing my best. How? Mama, that time we have to Chai. How? To feel what? Huh? Because I already know you've introduced Cheke to your father as your fiance. So why are you so excited? Why are you so full of butterflies as though he is your lover? My mom, the last time I checked, I am not married to Chike or am I? Meaning? Meaning that I am super single, ready to mingle until I tangle with my soulmate. Yes. <laughs> mom, listen. Stop being dramatic. What is there not for you to understand? <laughs> Wake up to reality, okay? It's not like your days. As far as I'm not married to Chiki, and I'm single, I am free to date other men till I say I do. Strange. Really strange. <laughs> Maybe to you, yes. But to me, no. You better wake up to 21st century realities. You should be happy but for me. Don't touch me. Oh. Stop being dramatic. I've not done anything wrong, have I? <laughs>